Hey guys, what's up? I hope everyone's doing well. And I'm sure you guys have already heard about this, but ChatGPT has just released their version four Omni version. And conveniently, they released this around the time when Google's having their IO. So if you weren't watching in the Google keynote, they announced Gemini 1.5 Pro, and they also announced something called Astra, which looks very, very promising. And conveniently, it seems to be in direct competition with ChatGPT. So we're not gonna focus on all the nuances and features of both AI platforms, what we're going to take a look at is the way ChatGPT has streamlined the new desktop app for macOS. So here it is over here on the right, and it's designed to work seamlessly with all of the Mac applications and practically anything you're doing on your computer. You can now have full out voice conversations using voice mode. And this is kind of really cool. Whether you want to brainstorm about something, you have a new idea. I'm going to show you a quick example of just what it can do. I'm using code right now, and I just wanted to make sure that Maybe I don't understand this block of code over here on the left, and I want it to kind of like just give me a quick overview of what it's actually doing. Let's start with one of the built-in keyboard shortcuts, which is option space. And that'll allow you to bring up a little messenger that you can actually chat with GPT just like you would inside of a browser. But in this case, I'm gonna go over here to this option here. I'm gonna upload a file. You can also upload photos, take screenshots. You can also do this with opening any app that's available to you. But right now I'm gonna upload a file, and the file is a screenshot of the code snippet to the right here, or see on the left. And I'm just gonna ask it a simple question, what this code block is doing. Okay, I'm gonna upload a file to you of a screenshot of a code snippet, and I want you to tell me what it's doing. Sure, go ahead and upload the screenshot and I'll, I'll help you understand the code snippet. Okay, I've uploaded the file. Can you tell me what's, what's going on? I haven't received the file yet. If it doesn't work, you can describe the code snippet and I'll help you out. Okay, what if I copy the code snippet and highlight it? Would you be able to help me then? Yes, if you copy and paste the code snippet here, I can definitely help you understand it. Okay, so I've copied and pasted the code snippet. Can you tell me what's going on? Sure. Let's walk through the code step by step. This code is a configuration for a Laravel factory that defines additional actions to take after an article model instance is created. Specifically, it attaches random tags to the article and creates and associates three comments with the article. The configure method is used to set up additional actions for the article factory. It attaches a random number of tags between one and three to each created article. It also creates three comments for each article and associates them with the article. This setup is useful for testing or seeding the database with more complex data relationships. If you need further clarification or have more questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so is this the most efficient way to do this? Um, the method you've implemented is quite effective for what it aims to achieve associating tags and comments with each newly created article. However, there are a few considerations and potential optimizations to ensure it performs well and adheres to best practice. One, batch processing for comments. Creating and saving comments individually within the loop can be less efficient if you're creating many articles. And if you're seeding a large number of articles, you might consider batching operations where possible. Leveraging Laravel collections can streamline the process and improve readability. Eager loading, if you plan to use these articles with their related tags and comments immediately after creation, make sure to use eager loading to avoid n plus one query problem. Here's an optimized version of your code that incorporates these considerations. So you don't have to actually explain everything. That was good. Thanks for the tips and thanks for the optimization. I will take a look at it and see how it does. Now, as you can see, it's got its quirks, right? Like it starts talking and then it seems to be like a little bit of an iteration or kind of you know, a stammer or stutter between it's actually figuring out what it wants to say and how it wants to say it. Now over here on the left, I went ahead and updated to the optimized version that it had recommended. And in your conversation with ChatGPT, it also gives you detailed explanations of the optimizations just so you can double check and make sure it's correct because sometimes it does make mistakes. But Overall, now this is fairly new and there was some quirks when we had to upload our file or screenshot of the code snippet for ChatGPT to give us a analysis of what is going on in the code. Now that could have been my error or the way it was uploaded or the size of the file, I'm not sure, but it was still able to decipher and tell me what this code was doing through alternative methods. Now I'm using this for code, but there are tons of other applications. I've even asked it on the mobile device just to summarize anything that I had missed about the features that are available for this version of ChatGPT. Hey, what's going on? Hey, not much, just here and ready to help. How about you? Yeah, I just wanted you to add anything that I missed on ChatGPT for the Omni version, specifically around the Mac OS app. Got it. Emphasize how it integrates smoothly with the Mac OS, offering a native experience. 
2. System-wide access. Mention that users can access ChatGPT from any application using a global shortcut, like the ability to generate code, draft emails, or summarize documents. Reassure users about the privacy and security measures in place to protect their data. These points should provide a comprehensive overview of the Omni version's features on macOS. Does this help? Yeah, I think they got it. Um, thanks for wrapping that up. You're welcome. Uh, sounds like it's going to be a great video. Anything else on your mind? No, that's good. Take care and good luck with your video. I'm looking forward to see what the future holds for ChatGPT and OpenAI and the competition as Google's ramping up to directly compete with this new model. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts and comments. If you're not able to download the app just yet, I think they're doing a rollout gradually to everyone, so just be patient. And you should be able to jump in and see what other experiences and features this new version of ChatGPT has to offer. Yeah.